first, a student taken to the hospital after she's bitten by a snake on a school outing. Thank you for joining us. I'm Gilma Avalos. And I'm Ken Molasina. Doug is off tonight. It happened to a Plano student at the YMCA's Collin County Adventure Camp in Anna. Our JD Miles live for us at Plano ISD's administration building tonight with the story. JD. Ken, all the district will say at this point is the student, who we believe is a female, is receiving appropriate care. We spoke to a local ER doctor who says it's unlikely that bites from any native North Texas snakes would cause serious or lasting injuries. Our cameras were not allowed on the property at the YMCA Collin County Adventure Camp hours after emergency responders transported a young Plano student who was bitten by a snake. In a statement to CBS 11 News, a school district spokesperson says it happened when the unnamed student was stepping into a grassy area near the trails where students were walking. The type of snake has not been confirmed. The statement goes on to say it's the first snake bite of a student on the 400-acre rural campgrounds between Anna and Westminster since it opened in 2006. No one at the camp or with the district would reveal the student's condition. Looking for signs of toxicity, redness, swelling. John Rowland is an emergency room physician who has treated snake bites. He says even without antivenom, snake bite victims can usually recover with prompt treatment. And surprisingly, it's the older uh, um, uh, snakes that will often bite just to scare you away and may not inject any venom at all. These photos of a Kaufman County child who was bitten by a copperhead last year shows the small bite marks on her feet that led to painful swelling and days in the hospital. This camp that was funded by tax dollars offers summer camps and outdoor learning for schools and group retreats.